what is up guys welcome back to another video i'm gonna explain to you guys side loading on an ios device and i'm gonna talk about all the different methods in which i know of that you can side load on your iphone first off if you guys don't know what side loading means pretty much it is how you install an application by not using the app store pretty much uh, applications that probably wouldn't be allowed in the app store this is how you can sideload them onto your iphone this is a super common question by people how do you get that application on your phone if it isn't in the app store so i'm going to talk about all the different methods in which i know of again like i said in this video so we're just going to jump into this now i'm not going to go into you know detail about every single method and service uh but i will make a post about this with all the links you need for everything uh, so that will be down in the description so be sure to check it out if you want to dive deeper into any of these methods so let's hop up in the chrome the first method is called scarlet this is free also no computer is required but with that being said it's pretty much the most unstable way of doing it and i'll explain what i mean by that if we scroll down currently scarlet is signed and when it says signed at the bottom there below install, that means it's currently working. If it says not signed, it will not work. You will have to wait for this website to say signed and then you're able to use it. Also, the problem with Scarlet is that it uses uh, enterprise certificates. And what that means is Apple can revoke those certificates at any random time. So if you use Scarlet to install an app, uh, it might just randomly stop working. And when that happens, you have to reinstall the application as long as Scarlet is signed. So this is a free method, a no computer needed method, but an unstable method. Next up, we have Sinulus. And I think this is probably the best method, honestly, for most people. Uh, no computer is required. This is a paid service, but you can install as many apps as you want. And I believe the signing period is one year. So you can side, uh, side load the app using Sinulus, and you don't even have to worry about it. And you can install as many apps as you want. Uh, but like I said, the caveat to Sinulus is it's a paid service. I believe it's 20 bucks, which honestly really isn't that bad. Uh, 20 bucks and you can install any .IPA you want with it and uh, have it on your, your device for a full year. That's a pretty cool service. Um, I've actually never done a video on Sinulus. I might do it at some point, uh, but this is probably the, the number one way for anyone that doesn't have a computer uh, this is going to be the best way, I think, to install applications if you got 20 bucks to spare. Um, next, we're going to go into Alt Store. This is actually the method that I used most of the time. Uh, but the problem with this is that you have to have a computer and you have to have your device uh, on the same Wi-Fi network when you want to install an app. So you have to be at your house. You have to have your computer um, powered up. You have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi, and then you can install applications. Uh, another problem with this is that a regular um, Apple account can only have three applications in total. So you need one slot for Alt Store itself, and then you have two slots. So you can only install two applications with, with Alt Store. Now, some people are going to ask, and I get this, this question asked to me all the time. Well, how do you have more than three and how are yours signed for one full year? Uh, the way I have done that is I have a paid Apple developer account, which costs $100 per year. And that allows me to have the same freedom as Sinulus, but using Alt Store. So I have no limitation uh, to the amount of apps and I have one year signing periods for any app that I install that is because I have a paid Apple developer account uh, like I said for anybody that does not have that you're going to have a limit to three apps and also it's only a one week or seven day signing period so you have to re-sign the applications before the seven days is up in order for these applications to keep working. So this is another method, uh, alt store, computer required. Uh, it is free, 
unless you want a developer account and if you want that freedom. But in my opinion, at that point, it's probably cheaper to just use Sinulus for 20 bucks. And Alt Store takes me to the next one, which is called Side Store. This is one that I have not personally used, but from what I understand from this service is it's pretty much the same as Alt Store, but you only have to use your computer or a computer one time to install Side Store. Once it's on your device, uh, you don't have to be at home I don't think, you know, on the same network with your computer on, uh, you just need it that first time. And then you have the freedom of installing the apps and re-signing them whenever you want, uh, while you're not being tethered to a computer. So again, this is a service I have not used. So this might be another good option for you if you really don't want to spend any money on side loading. And then the last method we will uh, go ahead and hop onto my computer here real quick. Uh, this one is called Side Loadly, and this operates very similar to the way that Cydia Impactor used to work, is you have an application on your computer and you just connect your iPhone to your computer and install an app that way. And uh, for me, of course, every app I install has a one-year signing period, so I'm not sure if you have, you know, a, f a free Apple account or just a regular Apple account, I'm assuming that the signing period is going to be seven days again, and you will have to use uh, side loadly to re-sign the applications using your computer. And it's actually taking forever to load up. There we go. We got it to load up, but pretty much you just drop your IPA into this program uh, and it'll just install it to your device directly. There's no you know, middleman application like Alt Store. You just use it like Cydia Impactor back in the day. And uh, that's pretty much how it operates. Again, this is free uh, and it works pretty nicely in my opinion. I use it sometimes. If I don't feel like using Alt Store to install it, I'll just drop it into Side Loadly and uh, throw it on my device that way. I, I use it for other devices I have as well. That way I'm not tied to uh, Alt Store being limited to just one device, which is on my main device. So th those are the methods in which I know of. I think I covered all of them. We got Scarlet, we got Sinulus, we got Alt Store, we got Side Store, and then we have Side Loadly. Those are the, the side loading methods in which I know currently that you can use on your iPhone or your iOS device. Uh, again, like I said, I will leave a link to my post down in the description, which will have all the information you need for any of these services with all the links to the websites and all the information you need. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Cosmic, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Later.